welcome back from the break, team. And in this last segment of our discussion, we want to discuss something about responsible decision making. From the things we have discussed, you realize they need that decision, okay? For you to be able to choose, just like you were, you know, saying as teams, yeah? They were asking and you want to take a decision and others are saying false, true, and you want to take a decision. And for us to be able to get away from the STIs, the sexually transmitted transmissions, they are critical decisions we must take, okay? And uh, I want to give you a scenario, and uh, I want to also call you to be able to share with us the kind of decisions you could think about and maybe take. And the scenario is, this is your friend, for example, who comes and tells you uh, that he or she has some signs of sexually transmitted infections. It can be maybe candida or anything. I want to know what kind of decisions, what kind of the ideas would you give that friend of yours to be able to take up that decision that would call responsible? Okay? I just want you to imagine this is your friend now telling you from the information we have just shared, someone is telling you, you know what, I'm feeling this or that. Every time I want to pass you in, I feel this strong pain. Okay? And probably now you're there, you're the best friend, and they want this kind of advice from you, and they want to take up a decision. What decisions, for example, would you take from that particular scenario? Yes. Advise them to seek medical help. Uh -huh. Yeah. You advise them to seek medical help. Thank yes. you very much. Because then that is so important. The, what they are saying, you might not be able to understand what they are saying because then you're not a medic, you're not a medical person. But for you to be able to direct them where they can get help, that is very, very good, yes. Uh, to add on what my friend has shared, mm. uh, after seeking uh, medical attention, they should always open up because many young people out there, when they go to health facilities, mm. they tend not to, to, to disclose everything that they're going through as like the pain they're going through. Someone goes to the hospital and says, I feel pain in my stomach. But then when she knows that maybe she's bleeding or she has mm -hmm. wounds, mm -hmm. so we, have always, we, we always have to be very open when we, we are seeking for medical attention such that we can get treatment, actually wh whereby we can get uh, the exact treatment that we should get. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, quite often, you know, someone goes to the health facility and they are being asked to describe how they are feeling and you want to say, even when you're feeling uh, pain in your private parts, but you want to say, you know, um, uh, you know my eye is itching, <laughs> no? And then the other health uh, worker is very, very confused, yeah? But it is very good that you open up, you tell them how you're feeling, and then they can be able to build on that history to be able to give you the treatment, okay? Yes, any other? Yeah? Yes, yeah. In that. That's the best decision <laughs> you're also buying. Okay. Um, maybe as we wind up, I also want to share with you the following decisions that are key. Yeah? The, 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 the decision that is key that would call responsible the decision that promotes health. Okay? As the starting point. Don't be you know, fearful of what other people might think, what my people might say. Okay? But the most important thing is that you have your health first, and the rest of the other things can come faster. I mean later. You know, you don't want to go, how are my friends going to look, like, look at me while I'm going to get the treatment? But it is you. Yeah? You remember what they were saying, that if we don't get treatment, some of these infections might cause us things that in, like infertility. Okay? Um, the other key factor is that we want to look at the decision that promotes safety. For example, now they are telling you, go at a certain health facility, but it is at night. Okay? Yeah, sometimes you don't have to risk yourself. Yeah, look at the environment surrounding you. There are areas like, for example, in our communities, that there are areas that we know that are dangerous. Yeah? So for you to be able to penetrate those areas, you need to think critically before you take any action. So that you, you who wanted a health uh, service don't end up into other risks, no? Of either getting into thugs and they can do harmful things on your, on your life. 
We also want to be sensitive about the, the laws of the, of the country, okay? What decision you're taking, does it really match with the principles, okay, that the government has put, okay? We have seen uh, very many young people, for example, take uh, uh, decisions of go and they want to say to abort, yeah? But what is the government saying in as far as that is concerned? What if then something happens? Now, how is the government going to defend that? So for each one of us to think about any decision in as far as STIs are concerned, we also think through the kind of principles and the roles the government has set, okay? Uh, the other responsible decision-making should also be informed of respect. By respect, we are talking about the respect your own self, and the respect to yeah, others, okay? If you know you have gotten this STI from someone, maybe it could be a boyfriend or girlfriend, it is important that yes, you get treatment, but you also be mindful of the other partner. Because then if you don't also help them to get treatment, I mean then you have not helped, okay? Because they might remain in that darkness and the infection keeps spreading. Yeah. And you know, in the cycle, you never know. You might also get it at some point in time, okay? So it is important to look at you yourself, self-respect, and also think about others, okay? By thinking about others that, yes, if I got this infection, do I have go infecting others, for example? No, because then you want them to be like you, just in case you get treated and you're healed. Um, the other one, is about the rules of the game. The rules of the game now want to look at the home setting and the school setup. Yeah? Yes. You feel you want to go for a health uh, uh, worker uh, for any guidance or information or treatment. Must you escape from home without informing your parents? Must you escape from school, for example, without seeking for permission? Because then they are going to know at some point that even when, yes, you wanted to, to get healed, but they are going to expel you. And then you won't have solved the, the, the problem. But it is important that people understand what you're going for. And then when, even when you get to those services, then they are not bringing side, other side effects. And then finally, the other most important uh, responsible decision should be informed of the good character. Okay, the good character in you, and the good character in you can mean very many things, yeah? Very good character in terms of you're very, very informed and you're very responsible. You don't want to be that person who is known to be spreading the infection, okay? And if then that is instilled in you, then we say that the decision you're taking is highly, highly, very responsible. Yeah, I really want to thank you uh, for having been so good participants. And also urge you to every day at a time engage your colleagues. Yeah, there are always people, there are doctors, just like we said, nurses, counselors. Feel free to open up. Don't just sit on a problem because then it ends up eating you. And when you open up and you want to share with either, it can be parents, it can be your brother, your sister, you never know who is there to help you. However, it is also important to be mindful of the person you want to share your problem with, okay? Yeah. There are people who are not just there to solve problems, but rather escalating yeah. the problems, okay? So look at the friends you're interacting with and see who can be of help. So sure. when that is done, we can every know that yes, we can deal with the issue of sexually transmitted infections. Thank, you, thank you very much, thank you. Thank and you. I wish you the best. Thank you, thank you so much. So thank you very much, Dennis, for leading us in that thing. And I think young people, you are now well aware of what we need to do. And what we have said actually doesn't just apply to young people, but to all of us to have responsible decision making. and that. Uh, those criteria that Dennis outlined for us apply to every one of us. Even young people out there in this time of COVID, you may be dealing with uh, 
STI, you may be dealing with poverty and you may need to set up a little garden somewhere to alleviate that poverty, which we have heard is going to also reduce the risk of STI. So, and you're going to have a little garden or a little craft. Some, one of us actually said they paint shoes. I think it was one of the other groups we were working with. That little project that is going to improve your self-esteem and be, enable you to say no to that guy who wants to give you money, which is going to cause an STD. These things can apply to all this. Responsible decision making can apply to not only decisions about health and STI, but also the decisions about your economics. So as we finish off, I would like to encourage young people here and even out there, young somebody sitting in Kasangati, where I, I, I live and work from, somebody sitting in Karamoja, somebody sitting in um, Tororo, that we need to take responsible uh, care of our own health. Young people, you are very important, you are very treasured, you are, we believe in you, we, we rest to, I mean, you are our future, so we need you healthy, we need you STI free, we need you HIV free, and those of you who have had HIV, we need you on ARVs. Please, we want you alive and well, and we are trusting that with this knowledge that we have empowered ourselves with, we'll be able to move forward and have a less STIs in our lives. Thank you so much for all of you. Thank you, everybody, for listening, and thank you, NTV, and thank you, Straight Up Foundation and the Reproductive Health Uganda and the Sexual and Reproductive Rights Alliance. Thank you.